that thing's enormous. You are not messing around, the hunter formerly known as Rookie. A plus. Alligators were endangered here in Mississippi in the late 60s. So wildlife officials packed horse trailers with 3,500 juveniles from Louisiana. They drove them to the Mississippi State Fair and handed them out in bags. Can you imagine going to the fair to ride the carousel and shoot tin cans and taking home a baby gator? Sure makes for more of a prize than a goldfish in a bag. Thanks to those efforts, the state population's approaching 40,000 these days. There's some commercial farming, but mostly they're just hunted for sport. Feeling more confident? Good. Let's take another look at that map. Can you take out the map again? Okay. Finally got it. I've been trying to shoot it between the eye and the ear, like she said, but you don't have to. You can shoot it in the lung and pass this one. So. Okay, now the mouth. I'm 90% certain the one in the middle is one of our campsites. Try taking a look around. Oh, and let's make sure Betty doesn't get word of this, at least for now. I'm not sure how she'd react to a literal witch hunt. Okay. Let's go to that one. we're hearing see if you can find what's causing it is that a goddamn tape player how'd they get that up there find some way to shut it off i can't hear myself think and i'm not even there Let's focus here. That tape sounded damaged, but I get what they were going for. Not hard to imagine a bright-eyed sixth grader hearing it and thinking witches. We're right by the river. This was actually one of the worst hit areas. Floodwater crested at over 20 feet. So the tape player must have gotten a real submerging, in spite of the best efforts of the person who placed it. There's no way they could have climbed up that high without access to tools. Let's see if we can find anything. Locked, as it should be. We usually hide the keys in plain sight inside hollow rocks. Not like we usually have to worry about burglars in rural Mississippi anyway. I don't remember where we put this one, but it's probably close by. That's it. Grab the key. Just as I suspected, a ladder. So the person who did this knew where to find the key and knew they'd find a ladder in here. That means we're dealing with either Camp Haven staff or someone from the big game club, since we tend to use the same facilities. Hey, uh, 
Didn't Betty say she would broke her neck recently? Hmm. I have my suspicions, but our evidence is still circumstantial at best. Let's do some more digging. There's another okay. spot on the map not far from where you are now. I'll mark it on your hunter mate. It's a lot cleaner this time. Let's find the tape player. I guess they gave up on the whole ladder thing. Can you switch it off? Does it say anything on the tape? AGM minutes, Jan 2020. Mm, try playing the B-side. We fear a continued decline in membership and monetary intake should the club fail to secure adequate whitetail hunting grounds. Come on, boys, while we're young. Next item on the agenda, Wright Bingham's proposal, reestablishment of Camp Haven Summer Camp. This ought to be good. What you got for us, Mr. Bingham? So, the tape was the big game clubs, and they were planning something to do with Camp Haven. I wish I could say I was surprised, but I still don't get... They terrorized kids just to get back at me? And what about all the other stuff, the heaters and the gator chasing? Oh, speak of the devil. Better pick up. Hey, sugar, can I trouble you for another favor? There's been a power outage over by my brother's office. He's working on our accounts, and all the papers are there, so he can't wait. Can you head over there and see what's transpired? Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bingo. This could be our chance. Keep in contact with Betty. See if you can get her to trust you. I'll call you back in a little while. Investigate the power outage. You getting close now, sugar? Check the road along the way. Lordy, ain't nature something? The Delta sure won't let you forget it. And you're gonna need more than a toolbox to raise that from the dead. I'll call the power company. Can you let my brother know this is gonna take a while? His name's Bodden. Jeremiah Bodden. Jeremiah's never been a patient soul, bless his heart. Busy as all get out, too. He must have left with his papers. 
I think you're just about done here. Thank you kindly for all your hard work. How are things? Any sign of Betty's brother? Let's, um, take this opportunity to have a little look around. He really was in a hurry to leave all this behind. Inside, there's nothing else. Inside Betty's brother's office. I think I'm gonna restart, see if it'll let me. Be right back. Okay, I think I might have figured this out. For Aunt Betty's 60th bash tomorrow, you're welcome. May 3rd. So Betty was born on May 4th, 1961. Why does that feel oddly familiar? Oh, it's the day the Freedom Rides began. Thank you, Illinois Middle School History Curriculum. But it's not just that. I feel like I've seen that particular pattern of numbers somewhere else. Oh, never mind. There's clearly nothing going on here, at least. We're gonna have to turn our attention elsewhere. Why don't you try doing some more sleuthing, maybe retracing your steps? There must be something we've missed. Okay. When I first picked up the flowers, I should have rotated them around, and I did. Okay. But I got it. Okay, where do I find evidence? Not sure.
here's a crazy idea. Remember the keypad at the big game club's lodge? Zero, one, four, five, and six were faded. And Betty's birthday is May 4th, 61. Do you think there's a... Game club's got to be hiding something around here. Try 050461. I knew it. Well, got to give them some credit. It is marginally better than 123456. We're in. But look, leave everything the way you found it, okay? Just take a quick look around and go. And... Make sure you're armed. Not saying anything's gonna happen, but I wouldn't want to cross Jeremiah Botten or Wright Bingham in a hurry. This is where they have their meetings. Steve Ernie's briefcase. A floor plan? For what? Stock? Sounds like a factory or a warehouse. What's a hunt club doing messing around with stock? Can you grab a photo of this? I don't really get it, but maybe we can piece it together once you get out of there. Do I hear footsteps? Go, get out fast! Run towards the cotton fields. Oh my god. Go, go. You've finally shown your true colors, Miss Davis. Took you long enough. We weren't. You're trying to get Camp Haven shut down. What choice do we have? Well, sugar, maybe your mamma never taught you to respect other people's property. But if you think you can put your own gain above the welfare of this community. You got another thing coming. That dog don't hunt. And that meddling lackey of yours. Such a waste of talent. Call your men off, Mrs. Tackett. This isn't funny. You just waltzed in here with a twinkle in your eye and gobbled up our land, didn't you? Goddamn Yankee transplant. We're just doing what we need to do to ensure our club survives. You understand, don't you? Do you need my boys to make you understand? I bought that land fair and square, Betty. And don't you call me an outsider. My family worked these same fields long before you were born. And then they up and quit the place. Bless your heart, girl. You ain't got the faintest idea of how things work around here. Why don't you just... The hell is that? Enough is enough, Betty. Call off your men and tell them to take down the rest of the tapes. That's not. We ain't set up any tapes anywhere close to here. Then it must be something else. Well, it's none of my concern. Now listen, this is your final warning. Don't let me hear about you causing any more trouble for the BGC or there'll be hell to pay. There, I think they're gone. Not gonna lie, that scared the hell out of me. Betty's... Not the kind of woman you want to make an enemy of. Let's stop for a minute and consider this. 
So look, there's something going on here, and it's not just Betty convincing some kids that Mississippi Acres is haunted. The rogue gator thing earlier, the noises we heard just now, that floor plan. There's an abandoned paper mill not far from here, just across the river bend. Maybe we'll find some answers there. It wouldn't surprise me if Botten and Bingham are still skulking around, though. Can you wait until dusk? It's probably dark enough now. I'll mark the mill on your hunter, mate. And Rookie, can you bring a weapon? Just in case, and this isn't an excuse to do anything stupid. I trust you. weird noises again they're definitely coming from inside do you see a way in Someone's been making use of this place since it got shut down. Hell, that was a decade ago. You see, okay? Don't be afraid to get out your flashlight. Oh, I don't want to know what that is. going on here. Remember that floor plan? This is definitely the same layout. Did Betty know about this? Alligator eggs? And there's one of those heaters. Were they incubating them? There's been a lot of flooding in Louisiana the past few years, and that drives up the price of gator eggs across the board. Zoos and farms there will buy them for 70 bucks a pop.
tanned alligator hides. This is poaching. suffering. We can't in good conscience release an ill alligator into the wild. <sighs> Thank you. We do what we do because we love animals, right? I need to talk to Betty. One minute, I'll bring her up on speakerphone. Hi again. We've sourced those noises we heard earlier to the old paper mill on the outskirts of Mississippi Acres. Care to explain what you're doing there? What we're doing there? Care to explain what you mean by that? I've just sent you a photo our counselor took in your headquarters. It's a floor plan for the mill. And that noise we heard earlier? A sick alligator confined to a pen. You're poaching, aren't you? We are doing no such thing. I'll admit I haven't been to many meetings lately, what with my neck and all, but the boys... They... No. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They just said they wanted somewhere to hunt Whitetail. To bring more money in, right? Well, Gator Poaching's mighty lucrative, Mrs. Tackett. You're telling me those boys have been sneaking around behind my back the whole time? And I'm the damn chairwoman. They do nothing without my approval. I swear, if my brother was involved in this, I'll, I'll pitch a fit. It ain't easy work, this. And some of them are a little old-fashioned, don't like taking orders from a woman. Even if the club's been in her family for four damn generations. I'm sure the local papers would be happy to get a hold of this story, Mrs. Taggett. Look, let me sort it out. I promise you we'll let you keep your summer camp. Hell, we'll sponsor it if you like. That's all right. But it sounds like we have a deal. You tell your boys to clear out of the mill and release the hatchlings back into the wild. I'll keep quiet about this as long as you leave Camp Haven alone. And let's keep up our flood relief work. Agreed. Sorry about the trouble, y'all. You take care now. <sighs> what a week. A new Camp Haven would have its challenges, but this... Nature hasn't been kind to us this year, and if people aren't either, it makes it damn difficult to survive out here. Of course we're invested in our history. It's who we are, what we've been through. But we can't forget our future, either. When our homes are flooded and people and animals are displaced, all we have is each other. Preparations for our next summer camp session are pretty much complete now. So as long as you've brushed up on your firearm safety and know how to fill out an injury report, you're good to go. We've got to learn to live together out here. I hope Betty's beginning to come round to that. I wonder if she can make the rest of the BGC see sense. I'll contact you if there's anything else. And if not, we've got the whole summer to plan our next move, right, Rookie? Oh, and thank you. I'm sure you thought I was crazy first time I mentioned the strange noises, but you stuck it out. It means a lot to me.